Hello, my name is Eugene Kravchuk and today we'll be going over carbonyl reactions. So today we'll be going over five different reactions with carbonyl compounds. The first one is a hydrate, which would leave us give us a gem dial. The second one is a cyanohydrin. Third one is a Grignard reaction with a carbonyl compound. Fourth one is a reduction using a lithium aluminum hydride. And lastly, it's a, we're gonna we're gonna make a hemiacetal. Now to start off, let's start off with our hydrate reaction, which would give us a gem dial. So we see a carbonyl compound reacting with a hydroxide, and the oxygen attacks the hydrogen, and it takes it, which will lead us to a to a positive oxygen and a hydrogen. To get rid of the positive, we take the water that's in the system and we attack that attack the carbonyl, which would have the double bond leave to the oxygen to give us <clears throat> an alcohol group but now since the water is attached to the, the carbon where the carbonyl used to be at it's positive now so to get rid of the positive charge we take another water and we react it and we deprotonate the hydrogen that would leave us with a gem dial that has two alcohols bonded to the same carbon in H3O plus inside of the well in the solvent the second reaction is a cyanohydrin reaction with a carbonyl compound. So we have some HCN in an NaOH um, solvent. What we have is uh, CN attacks the carbonyl carbon and the double bond cleaves and goes into the oxygen. What we get is a negative oxygen and a CN that's attached to the carbon. After that, we have water in the system, and what it does is the oxygen attacks the hydrogen and it takes the hydrogen from the ox from the water, which would leave us with the alcohol and a CN group and uh, some hydroxide inside the system. And this would be a cyanohydrin reaction. Now let's look at the carbonyl compound that reacts with the uh, Grignard reaction. So we have some carbonyl. And a benzene ring, and we have a ethyl magnesium bromide. And when they react, the ethyl attaches to the carbonyl, the carbon, and the O becomes negative. So to to get to neutralize the O, we, we take the hydroxide in in the system, and we and the oxygen attacks the hydrogen and cleaves it, and that would lead us to a high alcohol group. The is attached to a benzene ring, a methyl group, and an ethyl group. And that is a Grignard reaction. What happens here is the oxygen takes the hydrogen from the lithium aluminum hydride, which would lead us to this compound. And then H3O plus is used in order to get to, to neutralize the oxygen and get the alcohol group on there. In other cases, uh, lithium aluminum hydride <clears throat> it can use as much hydrogens as it wants to react with the carbonyl to lead to uh, to more hydrogens on the on the carbon on the compound. If let's say that it's a it's an aldehyde, or it's a carboxylic acid, or it's an ether, it can it can all react with the lithium aluminum hydride. And now we're gonna look at a hemiacetal reaction. We have a carbonyl compound with the alcohol attached to it, and we react that with the sulfuric acid in ET2O. And we, what we get is uh, the oxygen attacks and it deprotonates the hydrogen from the sulfur, sulfuric acid. We'll get that. And then the oxygen from the alcohol attacks the carbonyl carbon to, to neutralize the oxygen of, uh, on the carbonyl to get this compound, which make a ring. <clears throat> Since we have HSO4- in the system, we will use that to attack the hydrogen to cleave that off of the, the positive oxygen and to give the electrons back to the oxygen and that would leave us, lead us to the hemiacetal that we see over here with H2SO4 back into the system. Thank you so much for listening to my video about carbonyl compounds that we went over five different reactions and I hope that this will help you in your studying.